Recently, Lou Group CEO announced he would hold a wedding with Chow Yiran. Mr. Lu, you haven't showered yet. Let me prepare for you. Jealous? No. You're a perfect match. I know who I am. That would be better for you. Don't forget my wolves. I won't. As long as you give benefits enough, I will satisfy you also. For rescuing my father, I become Lu Jing Xiao's mistress for three years. Tishan, please help my dad. He is a policeman. He cannot be a murderer. Lu Jishan went abroad yesterday. He won't help you. Sleep with me. I will help you. Are you crazy? I'm your brother's girlfriend. I'm the only one who can help your dad now. Fine. I agree. Yes, Your father killed my father. I will make your life a living hell. Yeran, don't worry, I'll be there. Here, take the pill. Mr. Lu, now that you're getting married, this is the end of our relationship. Ye Xinyin, who are you to negotiate? Remember, your father's life is still in my hands. Before I'm saturated, then there's no way. Three years. It's time to end. Mr. Lu, what kind of wedding style do you and Miss Chao like? Jing Xiao, I do whatever you say. Xin Yin, come over here. Pick a style for both Mr. Lu and Miss Chao. This is our chief makeup artist. She is brilliant. Yes, please. Brilliant. Well then, could the stylist please also select suit for me? Mr. Lu, this suit is from our latest collection. Why? This is not the right place for you? Mr. Lu, it's not soundproof here, and your fiancé is still outside. She's out there. Doesn't mean I can't do anything. Baby, you got me. You got me. Oh, you got me. You got me. Jing Xiao, what do you think of this dress? Wait for me in Eugene one tonight. What's going on? You just touched some filthy stuffs. Come wipe your hand. You're not satisfied with this? No. I want to ask Miss Ye to be our wedding stylist. Sure. It's your call. Okay. Hi, Xinyin. This is Xishen. I'm back from a break. Xinyin. Xinyin. I never stopped missing you in all these three years. Let me go. Are you still angry with me for not saving your father? Three years ago, I was kneeling at your door the whole night. You didn't even come to see me. 
I had reasons for going abroad. If I knew your dad's issue, I wouldn't let you face that alone. The Jishen. We are done. I need to go. Xinyin. Xinyin. Xinyin, listen to me. Xinyin, I have told you. Brother, first thing you come back is to see your ex. It seems that you two still have something. I really have to go. Xinyin! Why, sleeping with me for three years, you still miss my brother? If my brother know the woman he misses was screaming so loud on my bed, what would he think? This is my privacy. You have no right to step in. Lu Xiao, you are about to marry. Still playing with other women. I have no right. Well, I say with this face. You still have some value, even not being a virgin. Lu Jingxiao, what are you doing? Put me down! Let me go! Mr. Lu, what brings you here today? I come to send you a good thing. She is indeed a beauty. Much better than those women. You want to leave me, right? Then go. If I sleep with him, we have no relations, right? Of course. Not you. I never want a woman who have been touched before. Good. Then tonight, Mr. Lee, I'm all yours. Monsieur, come and have drink. Okay. Mr. Lu, you're generous. Such a beautiful woman, just give her away. She's just a mistress. I was afraid my wife would be jealous, so I dealt with her in advance. Monsieur, let's find a place to talk. Okay. Mr. Lee! Little bitch, Mr. Lu taught you how to serve men, right? I feel unwell. There was something wrong with that drink. Mr. Lee, I... I just got back from outside. I'm gonna take a shower first. No need for a shower. I just like the rest of the others. Don't touch me! You are indeed a woman trained by Mr. Lu. Enough energy. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! You've been drugged. Come back to Yujing Wan with me. I don't need your help. Oh, don't touch me! Lu Xiao. You said that we are not related anymore. This is just a warning for you. If you move again, I'm going to do you right now. How come are you here? I thought you came here for business, planning to give you a good wine. Ching Xiao, what are you doing? Miss Ye drank too much. I'm afraid she has trouble. Let me help her be sober. Miss Ye, you're sober now, right? Pilaris, let me send you back. Losing Xiao, what on earth am I in your heart? Hello. I want to meet my father. Miss Ye, please come next time. You can't meet your father today because he's in trouble. What happened to my father? He hurt his head because of a fight. He is still in a coma. 
Why did this happen? He didn't take charge of that? Being treated is already the best. People in prison are not as good as you think. Hu Jingxiao, my father was here today. He arranged that. Ye Xinyin, I don't have that much time. But my father was in good condition before. Before? You've forgotten why you slept with me for three years? It was you who begged me to arrange people for you in the prison. This is the result if you are against me. But as soon as my brother came back, you couldn't wait to be away from me. I thought my brother is more efficient than I. You bastard, Lu Qingxiao! Dad! For as long as I live, I won't let you lead a life of peace, Ye Xinyin. You mean just back, Xinyin? The wedding dress of Miss Tiao and Mr. Lu arrived a couple days ago. Mr. Lu wanted you to deliver specifically. Xinyin, what are you doing here? Miss Ye, come on in. Have you met before? More than that. Miss Ye, she is our designated wedding dress designer. Right, Jingxiao? Since the dress is already here, why don't we have Miss Ye try it on now? Don't waste your breath on him. All your endeavors won't help. You're just Ching Xiao's secret lover. Well, I'm your rightful Mrs. Lu. I could crush you as easily as the world. I dare not. I'm nothing compared to you. He'll forever crouch at my feet and fetch my shoes. What's wrong with your hand? What's wrong with your hand? How could you be so careless? Ah, uh, it doesn't hurt. But I care. Are you trying to take a page of me? No way. Logician, we are over. Please stop haunting me. Xinyin, I really want to make it up to you. I'll arrange things in prison, and nobody will bother Uncle Ye. Xinyin, we can still be like we used to. But you, Shen, I'll never make it back. My brother and Miss Ye, what a touching moment. Looks like it's time to start calling Miss Ye sister-in-law. What are you doing here? Mom woke up, asking for you. Xinyin. Rest here tonight. I'll get a servant to arrange a room for you. So, you've rekindled your love. Can't wait, huh? Yes. Once he returned, he begged me to reunite, said he could help me, and he loves me. I love him too. Say that again. You're getting married. I don't want to be a mistress anymore. The past three years, I'll keep it to myself for your brother's sake. Please let me go. Lu Zhishen hasn't touched you yet. Don't know if what I've taught you is enough to please him. Maybe I should review it with you. Don't touch me! Shout louder. It's better if everyone knows that you and your boyfriend's brother are... What are you doing? Miss Ye? Right in front of me trying to seduce my fiancé? It seems the lesson I gave you wasn't enough. 
I'll have my men drive you back. Ching Xiao, we're getting married tomorrow. I just talked to Auntie, who agreed to me being here. I don't want to say it again. Ching Xiao, I'm your fiance. Why can't she stay here and I can't? Because you're the miss of the Xiao family and the future Mrs. Lu. Before the wedding, I won't touch you. But she means nothing to me. You bitch. Just wait. Congrats, Mr. Lu. What a good couple. Happy wedding. Thank you. Congrats, Mr. Lu. Miss Chow, you're so pretty, so beautiful. Congratulations. Thanks. Enjoy yourselves. Excuse me for a second. Sorry. Have a good time. Cousin, you look gorgeous today. Happy wedding. Here's to ya. It's my wedding day, so I won't be drinking. If you want to drink, I'll introduce someone to you. Who is it? I don't want a man. Trust me, she's my makeup artist for the wedding. I promise she's beautiful. And she's lightweight. Alright. Le <laughs> Jingxiao, I'm not your outlet for desires. If you have needs, Go to your wife. Don't you find it exciting? Jealous? I have no beef with you. Why won't you let me go? Let you go? Haven't we always had a fair deal? Or... Do you really think that Lu Zhishen can save your father? You... You must be Miss Ye, right? You're truly a beauty. May I offer you a drink? Sorry, I don't drink. Since when can a bitch pull a long face at me? You have to drink it today, whether you like it or not. Let me go! <laughs> Come to me, baby doll. I won't hurt you. You! Bitch, you dare to bite me? Are you so good? I'll now fix you up. Lu Xiao, please come on, pick up. Who's calling? Just the prank call. The engagement ceremony is about to begin. Let's go. I knew why you didn't want to come with me. Turns out you're a mistress hooked up with Mr. Lu. I tell you, he's marrying my cousin now. He won't care about you. Stay back. Get out. Don't come over! Go away! Don't touch me! Get away from me! Shinian! Shinian, are you okay? Shinian? Shinian! There are minor injuries on the patient. It's no big deal. There's no other injury on her body? Oh, there's no trace of infringement on the patient. Don't worry about that. But she is more bright. She needs to calm down. That's good. Shinyan, take care of yourself. Don't care about me, Shinyan. Dad! Dad! My dad didn't kill anyone! Don't care about me, Shinyan! Shinyan, you finally wake up. Are you hungry? I'll buy you something to eat. No. I have nothing to return to you. Shinyan. I don't need any return from you. I always feel guilty about your dad. You can rest assured that I will help him solve the case. Can you give me a chance to get back together? Wait for me. 
Lu Jian didn't take his mobile phone. Lu Ji Wei? Isn't he my father's former colleague? Why does he have contact with Lu Jian? Is that in prison related to them? Lu Jingxiao, this is the hospital. Lu Jingxiao! I slept with you for three years. What I got? It's just humiliation over and over again. Lu Jingxiao. I'm tired. I don't want to be your cage bird again. Why don't you let me go? Why? I'll tell you why. Because the person your father killed three years ago was my father. No, it's impossible. I don't believe you. You're lying. My dad is innocent. If what you say is real, my logician still likes me. That's because my big brother is obsessed with you. He still thinks you are a virgin. Tell me, if he sees that you are a whore I fucked with, what would he do? Don't touch me! Stop it! Ye Xin Yin, you owe me this. Don't touch me! You want to know how I can let you go, right? Let me tell you. I will chase you to hell. Your whole life is to make amends for your good father. Sleep, sleep, sleep. I will help you. I'm the only person who can save your father's life. Ping Xiao Li does no good to you. You are nothing but Ping Xiao's lover hidden in the dark. He sees me, son. You are worth it. Play, play, play. Go Yin Yin, don't mind me, the person your father killed three years ago was my father! Miss Ye, now you know who you are. Lu Qingxiao, you made me do it. What are you doing here? Miss Ye almost went through an accident at my wedding. I came to take a look at her. Brother, prepare yourself before you go in. Dad, I'm sorry. I'm not a filial daughter. Shen Yin! If I die, the whole of the year is thing. Dad, your daughter is finally free. Luckily, she was sent to the hospital in time. She could have died if not given timely first aid. What did you do to Xinyin? Why did she try to take her own life? Brother, you're overthinking it. I'm tired, and please leave me alone. Lu Jingxiao, I'm warning you. Xin Yin is my girlfriend. Mr. Lu, this is bad. Madam Lu is in critical condition. Mr. Lu, Madam Lu is in stable condition now, but as for the full recovery, you need to find the donor of the same blood type soon. Is there still no match yet? Madame Blue's blood type is really rare. There are only three known cases of type B blood worldwide. Mom, don't worry. I'll find a way to save you. Shin, your blood type is P-type. 
which is special to keep you safe. Dad had a change in your medical report. Remember to keep your real blood type from others. Shinian, why aren't you arresting the ward? I was looking for you. The man at the prison said your uncle's in a bad condition. Do you want to meet him? My dad, what happened to him? Dad. Yin Yin? How did you get in here? Ruchishan, who has relations with the prison staff, made an exception for me. He is unreliable. Stay away from him. Dad, why? There's something I can't tell you. The less you know, the safer you are. That's all Dad's got. But I don't want to hold you back. Dad, you gotta hang in there a little longer. I'll find a way to clear your name. Yin Yin, this has nothing to do with you. Don't get involved. Dad, why can't you tell me? Please tell me. I don't have many days left. I just want you to be safe. Dad, what's going on? Tell me, Dad. I Miss can't you. tell you. It is over. Dad, Dad, Miss tell you. me. Dad, tell me what's going on. Miss you. Dad. Uncle Ye, since you've seen her, you must be relieved now. Didn't you leave? Why are you back? I'm warning you. Stay away from her. It wasn't you who threatened me with the Indian's life. I would have never taken that fall for you. If anything happens to her, I'll never spare you. Don't worry. As long as you bite the bullet that you were the murderer back then, I'll make sure that for the rest of your life, you'll be safe and sound here. And your daughter? I won't touch her. Shameless! Chinian. Chishen, about my dad's case, you really don't know anything? When he was in trouble, I was sent abroad from home. What exactly happened? I have no idea. Chishen, I've got work to do at the office. You go home first. Okay, take care. Lu Jingxiao, I have a way to save your mother. Let's make a deal. My father can be a murderer. Absolutely not. He is a policeman. He won't kill anybody. I ask you to prove my father is innocent. I will give you my life in return. Mr. Lu, the blood test result has come out. Miss Ye is indeed type P blood, matches your mother's blood type. Take her for blood drawing. Yes, sir. Promise me. How dare you? Now, even if I tie you up to the hospital, do you think you can run? Blood exchange operation is time to prepare. If you don't promise me, I will kill myself right now. My life is worthless. Have your mother die with me. No loss. Deal. Mr. Lu, it's a high-risk operation. Even if the operation is successful, Miss Ye's life will be hard safe. She will die? Yes, but your mother has no time to waste either. I see. I will consider it. Before the operation, just stay in here. Yu Jingwan is your house. You are married. It's not appropriate for me to continue living here. Ye Xin Yin, if your father is the murderer, I will kill you immediately. Mr. Lu, we got some clues. Here's your business trip plan. Everything is ready. Lu Qi Wei. I will go with you. Why? It's also part of the deal. If you don't take me, I will kill myself again. Ye Xin Yin, I hate being threatened the most. Mr. Lu, how... One more plane ticket. Come, let's go have a few drinks. Uncle Lu, Uncle Lu, it's Xin Yin. Xin Yin? Oh, I couldn't recognize you. Looking so beautiful. 
What brings you here? Are you here for tourism? I came specifically to find you. Do you know about my father's imprisonment? Oh, your father's situation? I'm more shocked than anyone. Did you know that? How come he's so confused? You're my dad's best friend. If this kind of thing happened, he hasn't told you anything? Xinyan, did you find something strange? My dad's a good man. You know that. He'll never do that. I believe that he is innocent. Oh, Xinyan. The evidence is overwhelming. And he confessed. Why don't you stop pursuing this? Oh, by the way, do you know the Jishen? No. He seems to be the eldest son of the Hulu family, right? What did you ask? You don't know the Jishen, but you're top friends on WeChat. There is something going on between them. He is my boyfriend now. My dad isn't around, so I want to ask for your opinions. Mr. Lu, what brings you here? Where am I going? Do I need to report to you? I dare not. Why don't we go to the dinner together, Mr. Lu? Mr. Lu. Investigate Lu Jiwei and keep an eye on him. If something happens, let me know. Yes. Shen Yin, go along with him. Uncle Lu, I'll leave you to it. Come by tonight. About her father, I think she found out something. Don't you know someone from a gangster? Set me up with a couple of them. Lao Lu, I've taken care of your matter. How do you want to reward me? Hello, little girl. Do you know who I am? If anything happens to me, you won't escape. Oh, little girl, I don't care who you are. As long as I have you in my hands, I'll make sure you can't get away. Two brothers, have you guys got the wrong idea? I'm a newcomer here. I haven't made any enemies. Have you guys arrested the wrong person? Hurry up and take action. Otherwise, you'll regret it later. Is it you? Did Liu Chiwei ask you to do this? What the hell are you guys up to? What's the rush? This kind of beauty our brothers can only meet once several times. Let's have a good time first. Forget it. Hurry up. What are you doing? Don't come over! Let me go! Let go! How did you know I was here? Idiot. You shouldn't have gone out on your own. How many lives do you have to spare? Mr. Lu. Mr. Lu, you've misunderstood. It's all her fault. I know nothing at all. Come and apologize to Mr. Lu and Miss Ye. I'll go back to teach her a lesson. Mr. Lu, Mr. Lu is just a mistake. She said someone paid for my life. I don't know who did I have such a big grudge against that he wanted to kill me. She's your woman, right? Yes. Now that she acted wrong, you have to bear the consequences too. Mr. Lu, Mr. Lu, please spare me. It's a misunderstanding. Spare me! Send her back to Yu Jing Wan tonight. Mr. Lu? Lu Jiwei is the man who identified Miss Ye's father as the present. We found out Lu's private account has been in constant transaction with Lu Jishen. After Ye's father was imprisoned, Lu Jiwei got a sudden transfer, which was from Lu Jishen, that got rid of him. Okay, Lu Jishen, you'd better have nothing to do with it. Didn't I tell you that don't call me casually? Lu Shen Shen, what's going on with you? Did you say that what happened then would never be found out? Why did Ye Shen Yin come up for me suddenly? Does she know something? What? No way. I did the perjury for you at that time. I still have the evidence of your murder. If you can't settle this down, don't blame me for being ruthless. How dare you threaten me? I become a target now. I need to protect myself for some way. Okay, I got it. I promise that she will give up tracking you down. Hi, Shinyin. Are you free now? I want to meet you. Do you need me for something? Shinyin, I just knew that there's a chance we can get your dad a commutation. Really? Can my dad get a commutation? Yeah, but the premise is that you give up on tracking down this case. Why? Shinyin, you know that this is very complicated. I know your dad was wronged, but nothing is more important than our lives. 
Think about it carefully. Okay, I will give up. Xinyin, I will get someone to do this right away. Wait for my good news. Jishen, do you know who died that year? I don't know. This was confidential at that time, and they didn't release the identity of the dead. Let it go, and wait for me. Lu Qishen, how can you have an idea about your father's death? Why don't you hate me like Lu Qingxiao? Do you have anything to do with my father's arrestment? Didn't I tell you to stay quietly? Final warning. Before the surgery, just stay at Yujing Wan. Without my permission, you are not going anywhere. Lu Qingxiao, you can't do this to me. Do you think that I care about you? That day, in front of me, even if they humiliate you to death, I wouldn't care to look. But since you made a deal with me, before the end, your life is mine. I just want to clear my father's wrongs. There is absolutely something wrong with Liu Qi Wei. Something you think and investigate, I wouldn't know that. Go to hell! You've ruined my son! You're going to die! It's sulfuric acid. Let me take you to the hospital. Don't touch me! It's nothing serious, just a few superficial wounds. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I got you into trouble. But I really don't know who that is. That person is Chu Hong Yu's mother. Who is Chu Hong Yu? At my wedding day, the one who was kicked by you. He is the only son of his mother. You have caused him to never be fertile again. Of course, his mother wants to take revenge on you. This time, I owe you a favor. Let me change your medication. What? You're afraid? All these wounds. How did you get them? You're Mr. Lu, after all. Can you get her too? It's all old wounds. Qingxiao, are you alright? Aren't you hurt? You're really something. We just got married and you're off on a business trip? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Mr. Lu wanted to save me, so he got hurt. Now that Miss Chiao is here, I'll leave you to it then. I've warned you to stay away from Qingxiao. Otherwise, next time, it's not just about throwing sulfuric acid. It was you who told her to throw the sulfuric acid? So what? How come you're not the one who got hurt in the face? Thank you, Miss Ye. Qingxiao, let me see your wounds. I'll put some medicine on you. There's no need. Just a small injury. There's no need to make such a big deal out of it. I'm your wife! You'd rather have a stranger help you than let me help you? Why can't I come back to her? You arranged for the sulfuric acid to be thrown, didn't you? Qing Xiao, what are you talking about? Let me tell you, she's not someone you can lay a finger on. Don't think you've become Mrs. Lu and you can do whatever you want. Identify yourself. You loser! You've been married so long, Lu Jingxiao didn't even touch you! Dad, it's Ting Xiao. He'd rather have a mistress than touch me. You can't even handle a mistress. What have I taught you? Ting Xiao has been protecting her. I never got a chance to do it. Loser! Don't tell others you're one of the Xiao's family. You sin, you fucking bitch! Is it only when you die that Ting Xiao will finally see me? Are you sure about that? Was it true that her father was put in prison on that year because he killed Ting Xiao's father? Miss Xiao, absolutely true. <laughs> yes, Yin Yin. Let me see how high you can endeavor this time. Hey, Ron. Mom, I've got an important message to tell you. Who are you? Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Mrs. Lu? Hit her for me. Why? I want to ask you why. My husband was such a good man. Why did he die in the hands of your father? Why do you still have the nerve to entangle with Ching Xiao? Hit her for me.
It's not him. It's not him. My father wouldn't kill anyone. Drag her out of me. Mom, let me help you to go up and rest. Ching Xiao? Who told you to hurt Ye Shen Yin? Have you forgotten what I warned you? I did it. It has nothing to do with Yi Ren. Come at me. How did your father die? Have you forgotten? Why are you badgering your enemy's daughter? What a scandal. Mom, it's her father killed my father. What's the use of hurting her? Well, you're really my good son. How dare you disown your mother for a woman? Come on. Teach this ungrateful son a lesson. Mom! Mr. Lu, we found that part of the evidence that Lu Jiwei provided to the court was forged, which means Miss Ye's father may have been framed. The murder of your father should be someone else. Keep digging. I want enough evidence to prove who the real killer is. Yes, sir. Ching Xiao? Mom asked me to bring you some medicine. Take off your clothes and I'll apply it to you. Ching Xiao. I told you not to touch her, right? If you're feeling too comfortable in your, in your current position, I don't mind replacing you with an obedient one. Ching Xiao, that was mom's idea. How dare I disobey her? Xiao Yira, do you take me as an idiot? If you didn't tell her, how did she know? You're in love with her, aren't you? If that's the case, why did you marry me? I'm the daughter of the Xiao family. Can't I compare to a murderer's daughter? Marry you? Wasn't it your Chao family and my mom who forced you on me? We didn't even get a marriage license, but you're quite the Mrs. Lu. Ting Xiao, I'm sorry. About your business outside, I should not get involved. Please, don't drive me away. Out. The Lu family's monitor was backed up. So when my father was killed in the courtyard, was there a backup too? Get me someone to restore the video. Jin Yin. Jin Yin. I hurt you. I'm sorry. Now you've come out. Remember that from me. The killer back then was you. You'd better persuade her to give up the case. Otherwise, I won't let either of you live. Jin Yin. Jin Yin. You wake up. You wake up. Dad? You're out of jail? You suffered for me. Dad? Promise me. You don't need to pursue the previous things. Okay. Okay. Dad? Dad? What's wrong with you? Doctor! Doctor! Your father fainted because of long-term malnutrition. His health deficit is too serious. If you want to raise it back, the cost of later treatment is estimated to be quite high. How much does it cost? $30,000. But I can't get that much money out now. Yin Yin, I'm okay. I was just too excited for a moment. Don't spend that money wrongly. I will get better in a few days. Dad, don't worry about the money. My injury is almost cured. When I get back to work, we will have money. What are you doing? Get out of here. I come to work. You've been expelled, so get out of here. Don't disturb our business. But... I didn't get any notice, and I'm a top stylist here. Why do you fire me at will? If you want to blame it, you should blame Miss Tiao. Don't mention us. No one in Aijing dares to hire you. 
Manager, please, I really need money. I don't care whether you need money or not. I will not offend Miss Chow because of you. She is Mrs. Lu now. Get out of here now, Rose. Mr. Lu, I think you've been following her all morning. I don't know get off the car and pick up Miss Ye. How did she suddenly start looking for a job? It's said that she offended your wife. Previous job has also been terminated, and your wife gave the order. No company dares to use her. Put her in the company we are recently invested in. You do this? Are you not afraid that your wife is angry? A rabbit in a hurry still bites. Push her so hard, so I have to give her some benefits. Okay, I'll do it for you right away. Oh, by the way, don't tell them. That's what I mean, yes. Dad! Yin-Yin, why are you here? Don't I let you rest at home? You don't have to push too much pressure on yourself. I'm still strong. I can't afford you. Sorry, it's me that's useless. Yin-Yin, it's all my fault. Hello? Monsieur, right. Congratulations. You are employed by our company. Can you come here tomorrow? Is this okay? Yes, of course. Dad, great, I got a job. Really? That's great. Manager, I am interviewing for a business post. Why do I have to be a handyman? The business department is full. Easy to find a job now. You can do it if you like, or get out of here if you don't like. Well, I'll do it. I'll do it. New here. Go help me pour a glass of water. Oh, okay. Honey, make this report. Oh, okay. Today the investor will come to the company for inspection. Please help me clean up the meeting room. Now I have no time and you bring this new one. You, come with me. You don't even have a job if you offend the investor. I... You stay later. Mr. Lu will come here. You just stand next to him and pour tea and water. Take care of him. Mr. Lu? Which Mr. Lu? Who else could be Mr. Lu? Of course, it's Lu Jingxiao. He is the biggest investor in our company. Later, if he is not satisfied, you will lose your job. Uh, I... What? Your skirt is too long. You need to change to a shorter one later. Mr. Lu, how did you arrive in advance? You didn't tell me before you came. Chinyin, let's go to pour tea for Mr. Lu. Okay. Mr. Lu, please have a seat. I'm going for a smoke. Lu Jingxiao, let go of me! Let go of you? Especially came to work in my company. You just want to seduce me. You specially came to work at my company. Don't you just want to seduce me? You thought too much. I had no idea this was your company. Otherwise, I wouldn't have come. I hope to wait for a moment. You can be as stubborn as you are now, then. Lu Jingxiao, we're at the company. You cannot do that. What can't I do? Didn't they tell you to live in Yujing One? Where did you go? My dad was already out of prison. So what? I don't need to help my dad reverse the case. Our deal is cancelled. It was you who came and begged me pitifully. Now you want to cancel the deal. How dare you do that? After so long time, he didn't find out anything for me. You were not sincere from the beginning. Why should I continue to trade with you? Ye Xin Yin, do you really think that you have bargaining chips with me? Even if we don't make a deal, I still have a million ways to drain your blood dry. Mr. Lu, since you are here, our general manager wants to invite you to dinner tonight. That's okay, but I have a request. You say? She has to go together. No problem. Good, that will be all for now. What was your expression just now? If Mr. Lu likes you, it's due to your good blessing. Go back and clean up quickly. Come with us tonight. I heard that you are short of money recently. As long as you can coax Mr. Lu well, your salary, I'll double that. Mr. 
Monsieur should be able to drink, right? Have a drink with me. <laughs> Monsieur is such a legend. Have another one. I can't drink anymore. Mr. Lou, may I have a drink with you? Today I won't drink anyone's toast except Monsieur's. Since you insist, Mr. Lou, then I will drink as you want. Is that enough? No. Here. Cheers. <coughs> uh, how is it? You think you have? Are you satisfied? As we have a great time drinking today, for our future cooperations, I'll have my assistant bring over the contract. Mr. Lu, are you really leaving so soon? I have booked a room upstairs for you and Xinyan. You see, have I mentioned anything about staying overnight? No, no, Mr. Lu, take your time. Hey, why is such a beautiful lady walking alone at night? How did I end up here? How about my dad? My assistant has already took him back home. Don't worry, he's fine. I want to go see him. I told you that before the surgery, you couldn't go anywhere. Lu Jingxia, what gives you the right to strike my freedom? I hold the lives of both you and your dad in my hands. Ye Shen Yin, don't test my patience again and again. Yes, Indian. Why is it you again? Sister-in-law? Why are you here? Mom is looking for you. Okay. I'll go over right away. Yes, Indian. You've been working with Lu Jingxiao all along, investigating me while pretending to be on my side. I originally wanted to spare your lives and your father's, but now don't blame me. I reach a few people, and I want the lives of Ye Xin Yin and her father. The surgery has been scheduled for next month. Cherish the remaining time with your father. Dad? Run quickly, Xin Yin. Don't go home. Just Dad. run. Dad? What's wrong? Dad? 
Are you okay, Dad? The subscriber you have dialed is power off. Dad, the subscriber Dad, you have dialed please is power answer off. the power. Dad, please, please don't get into trouble. Lu Jingxiao, my father was missing. Just missing. What are you worrying about? Please, please help him. Please, he's my only one. I can't live without him. I can do whatever you want. Ye Xin Yin, you only please a man with your body. If now who is standing in front of you is someone else, you will do the same. I'm almost dead. I don't want anything. I hope my father is well, then I can die in peace. Please, please help him. Calm down. I'll send somebody to find him. Okay, I got it. Have you found him? None yet. Who can hide him so well? Even you can't find him. Not many are able to do it in Ai Cheng. One is you, the other one is Lu Qishan. He had been abroad for three years. You doubt me? I have the right to doubt anyone. What? Follow me. Where? Go to the hospital. My mother's illness has relapsed. Surgery needs to move on. Lu Jingxiao, the disappearance of my father. Is your plan for your mother's surgery? I'm so stupid. I come here for your help. I will warn you. If anything happens to my father, I won't let you go. Why mom suddenly got sick? Didn't you stay at home to take care of mom? It's not my fault. Why fasten on me? Lu Jishen, it's better not you. Lu Jingxiao, I'll wait to see you two fight like dogs. Monsieur, if we have any news, we will inform you at once. So go back and take a rest. No, I will wait here. Dad, I hope nothing happens to you. You're my only one. Monsieur. Have you found my dad? I'm sorry for your loss. We only find the corpse of your father. My... my father's corpse? Where? I vow to avenge your death. Dad. 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 Monsieur, how could you to how could you torture yourself like this? Even if you don't look out for yourself, you must think for your baby. What? I get, I get pregnant? You are three months pregnant. Emotional instability is not good for your baby. Doctor, have you told anyone else? No, I have just got your test. Please, keep a lid on it. I want to spring a surprise on the baby's dad. Okay. I'm sorry about your father's case. When you finish the surgery, I'll submit these materials to the court. We can overturn them. You did it, Lu Jingxiao. This pain you gave to me, I will give it back. You have the cheek to see me? You... you go to die.
Baby? Mrs. Liu, it is Lu Xiao's baby in my body. Has Lu Xiao already told you? My blood can save you, but you will succeed. Most likely I will die. Our family, you don't need your dirty child. I know, you wanna say Xiao Yiran can do this too, give him a child. But you know him better than the rest, he loves me so much. He will never give Xiao Yiran a chance to have a child. Nonsense, you're the murderer's daughter. He can't fall in love with you. Of course he loves me. You have been looking for me so many years, you couldn't find me. Because he hit me. Mrs. Lu, you don't want your family to die soundless. He was just deceived by you. He has a hatred of killing father with you. Could it make you give him a child? Lu Xiao is the legal heir of your family. Is that hatred real or not? Doesn't he know the murderer was not my father at all? He had been wrongly accused and he passed away. On this matter, your family owe a life to my father. Nonsense. Your son found it. This is the evidence. My father wasn't the murderer. You. You. Believe it or not, I am done talking. I'll give you one minute. Your life or the baby's life. Which compensates for losing my father? The decision is up to you. Mrs. Lu, time is up. <laughs> this is your first child. The baby grows well. Why you want a miscarriage? The babies that married others. I can't help it. Alright, so you need to prepare for it. Doctor, cancel my surgery. I want this baby to born. Okay, I'll give you some chocolatic medicines. Yes, <laughs> What did you say to my mom? Well, that looks like your mom chose her life to pay for my father. Harder, harder, kill me. Maybe I can be buried with your mom. You are a vicious woman. You too. My tricks, I learned it all from you. You betrayed me first. I can do it too, or others lose their life. Lu Qingxiao, alive for alive, so we're even. The doctors are fighting to save my mom. If anything happens to her, I won't let you go. My life is cheap. You can't kill me any moment now. But the baby your mom protected with life will be gone. Baby, you get pregnant. You plan to obtain an abortion. Yes, she Before I come back, keep her shut up here. Keep an eye on her. Yes, sir. My baby, be brave. Mom will protect you well. What are you doing, madam? I'm going to deliver meal to Miss Ye. Mr. Lu locks her up in the basement. Let's keep an eye on her. Because of her, mom is still in the hospital. Bring the meal back. Left her there to die. Yes, Sinian, you are screwed now. Lu Xiao, you are so cruel. Give up on your own baby. Ouch! Ouch! Yes, you need. How long is it? Almost three days. Our madam tell us not to give her food. She loses too much blood. 
and gets undernutrition. Take good care of her. How's the baby? Well, her finger has been bitten. She sucked on her finger to feed the baby with her blood. Okay, I get it. You said you didn't want the baby. Why you feed him with blood? I need the baby. After all, this is my only chip. How do you feel? Is my chip big? Yes, Yen. I can kill you at any time. Do you think an unformed embryo can hold over my head? Mr. Lu certainly doesn't need this baby. If you choose it to be a bunch of women outside, want to give you children. But you should remember, only this baby your mom paid for it. Shut up. My mom died. My father died too. Ting Xiao, she is the reason that makes our mom dead. How dare you have the courage to come? It's me who let her come here. Kneel down. You have to kneel down here for a while. Expiate your guilt to my mom. Ching Xiao. How come I don't know you two are so close? How do you know we're so close? She's the reason that makes our mom dead. Do you still love her? To plead mercy for her? We already broke up. This baby. I will try my best to take care of the baby. If you bear a grudge against me, come at me. But your family, Lu, you own my father. I will ask you to make up for me. <laughs> You're pregnant. Jing Xiao, who is the father of the child? It's none of your business. The baby is yours. I don't want to talk about it now. You go in first. I will stay here and watch her. Kneel down until I'm satisfied. Can't bear it now? Let's just begin. Don't worry, I can endure. Yashinian. Baby, my baby. Yashinian. Yashinian, who do you think you are? I'm the legitimate wife of Lu Jingxiao. What right do you think you have to humiliate me? Ching Xiao, you're back. How come it's you? You're still waiting for Lu Jing Xiao to change his mind? Don't be daft. Ye Xin Yin is the only woman in his heart. You're Jing Xiao's brother. I don't think it's right for you to do that. You get out now, and I can pretend nothing happened. Would you call someone a brother after he slept with his older brother's girlfriend? I just broke up with Ye Xin Yin. The two of them got together right away. How will that happen? Don't be daft. You're a smart person. That thing on their computer the other day, you showed it to me on purpose, didn't you? No, I didn't. It doesn't really matter anymore. Don't you want to get back at them? You've been in the Lu family for so long. Lu Jingxiao hasn't touched you yet. Lu Jingxiao, you slept with my woman, now sleep with yours. Isn't that fair? I've put her on meds to prevent premature labor. It's fine for now. But if you keep tormenting her, you will lose the baby, sooner or later. I got it. I'm not gonna do anything to her. I didn't expect that Lu Qingxiao would get cuckolded. 
What do you have to gloat about? Seeing you suffer makes me happy. With someone who doesn't have anything to, what's there to feel bad about? Isn't Xiao Yiren your wife? Aren't you angry? We didn't get a marriage license. She's not my wife. You didn't have a license? The rule of the Lu family is that only when you have a child, you are officially part of the family. But for the sake of decency, Xiao Yiren has claimed herself to be Mrs. Lu. That's a pity. You don't pity yourself? Pity her? She wanted to be a part of the Lu family so badly. What a pity. He'd rather have a baby with me than touch her. Looks like I have a better chance of being Mrs. Lu than she does. You finally spoke your mind. Yeah, well, will you marry me? Are you crazy or am I stupid? If it wasn't for the baby's sake, I'd kill you right now. Don't worry, I figured it out. Before the baby is born, I won't do anything to you. Lu Jishen, I just forget what happened yesterday. You should also keep it a secret. What's up? Don't you like it? You're Jing Xiao's brother. This doesn't feel right. Well, what's the big deal? Lu Jing Xiao's already showed up with his mistress in front of you. Does he even respect you as Mrs. Lu? What's more, you'll only become part of the Lu family once you have a child. Lu Jingxiao can give you these, I can. Think about it. Miss Zhao, Mr. and Mrs. Zhao are here. Okay, I know. Tell them to wait for a while. I'll be down quickly. The Lu's family's mansion is quite impressive. Yeah, check out this coffee table. It looks Dad, so nice. Dad, Mom, why are you here? Isn't your mother-in-law just passed away? We came to check on you. You and Jing Xiao finally? Mom, keep your voice down. There are many people here. Why can't I talk about this? This is good news. You're going to have a baby soon and become Mrs. Lu. That's right. Jing Xiao left early this morning. Since you've consummated your marriage, to get the marriage certificate as soon as possible. Dad, Jing Xiao has some business to attend to. He's not here right that? now. You can't just sleep with my daughter and not take responsibility. I'll call him to come back home now. Dad, please don't. Jing Xiao, I'm at your place. Hurry back. I'm busy right now. What are you doing? The real priority here is marrying my daughter. Marrying her? You have slept together. You should come back and set the date. Are you scared? I'll be right back. Why are you so excited? Don't you need to take a prenatal checkup? It's rare to see you so annoyed. Of course I'm excited. Don't push it. You will be annoyed after all. Then I can do as I please now. Jing Xiao, you're back. Please have a seat. Who is this? Yes and Yen, what are you doing here? Jing Xiao, what's going on? My daughter is still here. How could you bring another woman home? Looks like you don't take my daughter seriously. Aren't we here to discuss the wedding? Let's talk about this. Jing Xiao, it's all right. Haven't you slept with her? My daughter must be your lawful wife. Is that so? Did I have sex with you? Ting Xiao, my parents misunderstood. I told them that it was just a mosquito bite, but they wouldn't believe me. I'm not like my brother. If you want me to admit something I didn't do, that's impossible. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Jing Xiao, there must have been a misunderstanding. This must be someone who's trying to frame our family and not wanting my daughter to marry you. This photo is taken at my house. It hasn't been two hours since it was sent to me. If you don't believe it, you can go take a look. No! No! What's wrong with it? Go in and see if you're innocent. Mom, I really can't. Kneel down, kneel down quick. 
Ching Chao, please, as long as you don't cancel the engagement, you can do whatever you ask me to do. Don't touch me. You're dirty. Am I dirty? Are you not dirty? Lu Jing Xiao, when I got engaged to you, I treat you wholeheartedly. What about you? What did you do to me when you were messing with Ye Xin Yan? Isn't your upbringing telling you that it's normal for men to mess around outside? Just like eating? Why can't I just do it? Sure, of course. Jing Xiao, don't be angry. She's not sensible. I'll go back and educate her well. Don't worry. She can't have a second chance, okay? Since everyone is here today, let's make it clear that our engagement has been officially cancelled. I'll give you three days to move out of here. Jing Xiao, you cannot do this to me. Have you seen enough of it? Go. You are no longer the daughter of the Chiaos. To pay off your gambling debts, you force me into the loose. You sell your daughter for money. The dignity of the Chiaos has long been lost to you all. You even learned to refute in the future that Chiaos will not treat you as a daughter. Let's go. What else are you doing here? Destroy my life and you will be satisfied. The person who destroyed you is Ye Xin Yin. If it weren't for her, even if Lu Jingxiao didn't like you, you would still be a legitimate Mrs. Lu. Really? I am Mrs. Lu. She's just a mistress. But what should I do now? Oops. Everything's over. I can avenge you. But you have to obey my orders. I beg your help. I wish Ye Xin Yin would die now. If I go to hell, I will also go to hell with her. Don't worry. As long as you can kill Ye Xin Yin. After the matter is complete, I will give you some of money to go abroad. But why are you helping me? Have you forgotten? You're my woman. What a fool. She even wants to utilize me to kill Ye Xin Yuan. She's now protected by Lu Jing Xiao's people. How do I hurt her? You just be my substitute for the dead. The virus is developing well, but the danger is not over yet, not to be taken lightly. Pay attention to your emotions too, there can't be a lot of fluctuations. Thank you, Doctor. Xin Yin. Moen, when did you return to China? I have just returned to China. I'm a doctor here now. Hey, why are you in the hospital? Aren't you feeling well? None. Hmm. Who is this? I'm the father of the child. Xin Yin, are you already pregnant? Are you married? I... I guess I'm late after all. Don't you want to introduce your old friend? Oh, this is my neighbor when I was a kid. Mu Wen. And this is... Lu Jing Xiao. Hello, Mr. Lu. Xin Yin and I are not old friends. We grew up together, in my eyes. I always treated her like a sister. Is that right? Then why haven't I heard Xin Yin mention you? Xin Yin? Is that right? No, Mu Wen. After you went abroad, I thought you weren't coming back. That's why I didn't tell you. Sorry, Xin Yin. I left too soon. Didn't get a chance to say goodbye. It's time to go. I'm leaving, Mu Wen. Xin Yin, why can't you just wait for me? Keep away from him. Lu Jingxiao, you're getting jealous? You are still pregnant with my child, and you cannot wait to find the next connection? Don't think everyone is as that dirty. I and Mu Wen are not in the relationship as you think. You better be honest. Or I can remove him from that hospital immediately. 
Hu Jingxiao, you are shameless. You just knew me? Hi. Xinyan. Mu Wen, how did you get my number? I checked your hospital case and saw your number. Wouldn't you mind? No. Mu Wen, I'm more than happy. Your husband was beside you. And many words were not told by then. Or I can remove him from that hospital immediately. Mu Wen, it's very late now. I have to go sleep. We'll talk later. This is Miss Chen. She will take care of you. She will be with you if you want to go out. Chen, leave those who are not good away from her. You are monitoring me! This is my secondary card. You can use it for all consumptions. You are generous this time. I'll take it. Up to you. I'm busy with my company. Miss Chen will serve you. You are Mr. Lu's wife. <coughs> How dare I? I'm just a lover paid by him, not formal. I can't imagine the richest life. Yeah, I've become rich after all. Go, let's go shopping. A bracelet worth 100,000 yuan should go to Rob. Don't touch it if you can't buy. We are not able to sell it if it becomes dirty. Our store only treats VIP customers. I want this. Please package it. You think everyone can buy our bracelet if he or she wants to buy? You can only buy this bracelet if you've consumed up to 1 million yuan. Look at you. You're showing off here. What are you saying? She doesn't have to pay. I give it to her as a gift. Boss, nice to see you being here. Xinyan, is everything fine? Sorry, it's kind of embarrassing. Luan, oh, you are here? This is your store? Just some of my hobbies. Monsieur is an important client. Apologize. Monsieur, I'm so sorry about this. All my faults. Please, I beg of your forgiveness. I'm okay. One, forget it. Monsieur has forgiven you. But as a staff, you treat customers this way. You're fired. Boss, so sorry. Please give me a chance. Go get salary on your own. I don't want to see you anymore. Xinyin, let's have a seat and talk. Mr. Lu asked me to leave those who are not good away from you, especially male. Miss Chen, this is my friend. We need some privacy. Will you leave us for a moment? Now well. Miss Chen, how about you say nothing about me and Mu Wen at our meeting? Anything you want here, I will pay the bill. Will ya? Okay. Just once. Xinyin. What's your relationship with Lu Jingxiao? He's famous in Aicheng. I googled him. Hasn't he got married with Lady Chao Yiran? Mu Wen, this is my privacy. Leave me alone. You are my sister. How can I leave you alone? I can't watch you go astray. Who's the father of your baby? Mu Wen, actually, her father is Lu Jingxiao. Xin Yin. Does your father, Uncle Ye, know this? My father... He passed away. Xinyin, I'm sorry for your suffering. It's my fault. If I came back earlier... Owen, don't say that. Xinyin, did he force you? Tell me, if you don't want this baby, we can go abortion. Owen, don't worry. I do this free will. Lu Jingxiao. He's nice to me. This is what called nice? He hurts you. He makes you the mistress. I don't know what happened between you and Lu Jingxiao, but he's definitely not the one. Xin Yin, before it's too late, leave him. Lu Wen, there is something that I can't tell you. This is of my free choice. We we didn't go to the bureau, but I am not the mistress, and he didn't marry Chao Yi Ren. Xin Yin, I'm always waiting for you. 
Ruan, it's time for me to go. Miss Chen, we should leave now. Meet me at the entrance. Fish took the bait. Hello? Miss Yin, how are you recently? Xiao Yuran? It's you. I have nothing to say with you. Are you in company? There is a secret about you. I have nothing to say with you. Don't you want to know your father's last words? What? Miss Chen. It occurred to me that something for the baby is forgotten. I'll send you the picture. Please go for it. Wait for me in the car then. Ah, uh, okay. Xiao <laughs> Yuran, why do you relate to my father's death? <laughs> I lied. He knelt down and cried for his living before the death, leaving nothing about you. Xiao Yuran, what on earth do you want? Yes, Yin Yin, uh, how stupid you are. How can I be defeated by you? Nevertheless, you and your unborn baby are going to hell. Move! What? Miss Chow, she passed out. Send her to the suburban warehouse. Stop! 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 Pick up, please. Miss Lu, tomorrow is set aside. Schedule at the bureau is confirmed. You are going to marry Miss Ye. Mr. Lu, something's wrong. What happened? Miss Ye has just answered the phone call. She told me to buy something, but when I came back, the car is gone. I installed GPS in Yin Ye Xinyin's phone. Check her position. And send one to check the surveillance camera in that mall. Yes, sir. Why did you kidnap me? Do you know my husband is Lu Qingxiao? What do you want? Name anything. What a woman of Lu Qingxiao. So beautiful. Is it Chao Yi Ren who asked you to kidnap me? I want to see her. Miss Chao is always in the plane. You can't see her. She handed you to me. And told me to do anything I like. How much does she pay you? I can give you more. <laughs> oh, money. I want to kill you. You think that? Lu Qingxiao will let you go if you killed me? Patience. He is next. Chao Yuran, you'll not kill Lu Qingxiao. Who's the boss behind you? Don't ask anything you shouldn't know or I'll cut off your tongue. If you serve me well, I will kill you quick and sad. No! I'm here! Don't come in. I'll kill him. Oh, me. Baby, baby, save our baby, baby, save our baby. It's gonna be okay. We are going to the hospital. Our baby. Don't worry, I'm here. I'll stay with you. How about our child? It is fine. You are tired. Have a rest. This is how you protect her. The fetus is in a bad condition. We have to award it. Who's gonna sign? You are not qualified. How about you? What's your title? Husband? You don't even have a marriage license. You don't deserve the husband title. The patient is waiting for the surgery. Sign the surgical permission. I'm her brother. I'll sign it. If anything goes wrong with her, I will never let go of you. I will not let go of anyone who hurt her. Yes, Yin Yin. This is how you end. Who are you? What are you going to do? Miss Xiao, Miss Ye's abortion is on you. Miss Erlu said you should learn your lesson. Follow up.
You must be hungry. Having slept for a day and a night, you need some food. Otherwise, your body would break down. Lu Jingxiao, you don't have to do that. Now I have lost my baby, and you can take your revenge as you like it. I chose not to kill you then, not all because of the baby. So why? Ye Xinyan, marry me. We can have another baby in the future. I never realized that you can be so touched by my self-injury. If I have known that losing the baby can help me successfully become Mrs. Liu, I would have had an earlier abortion. Don't be silly. Get some rest. When you get recovery, I'll bring you to get our marriage license. Xinyin, are you alright? Moen, I'm fine. It worries me to think that you are by Yu Jingxiao's side. After leaving the hospital, get away from this place with me. Mu Wen, just now Lu Jingxiao asked me to marry him. Xin Yin, you have suffered so much from the misfortune he brought upon you. Never say yes to him. I have been his mistress for three years. It is the years that I have always dreamed of marrying him. Now the dream will come true, but somehow it gives me no joy at all. Xin Yin. Get away with me. If you want, I will take you to a new place where no one knows us and you can forget the past and begin a new life. Muan, thank you. But I have promised. Xinyin, be reasonable. Muan, I know what I am doing. I need to avenge my father and my baby. I must stay with him. I want to pay him back in person. Qishen, Qishen, help me. It is Lu Jingxiao. Oh, yes, Yin Yin. That bitch. He put me in jail. Qishen, get me out of here. It seems that Lu Jingxiao has done the work with efficiency. He sent you to prison so quickly that it saves me a lot of trouble. Qishen, what do you mean? Chiao Yira, the light is on, but nobody's home. You fool. Throughout the plan, you are just a pawn in a game that is being played by me. You took advantage of me? You just wanted to take my strength to kill Ye Xin Yin. Thanks to you, I escaped Lu Jingxiao's suspicion. Aren't you afraid that I will write you out? It's you that directed me to do all this. Am I? Do you have any evidence? Even if you drag all things to light, we'll believe you. I have done nothing except offer you some information. Throughout the plan, you're the only schemer. Petition, you're born to hang! Relax. You've known so many secrets of mine. Do you think you can survive? Jishan, don't kill me. I'll do whatever you want. You're unable to finish the task of killing such a simple thing. Do you think I should waste so much time on a piece of trash? Jishan, you can do this to me! Jishan! Find a chance to take her out. Okay. My poor baby, it's mom's fault. It's mom's failure to take care of you. Why are you here? Where is the Jingxiao? Miss Ye? In fact, the loss of the child saddens Mr. Lu incredibly. He locked himself in his room and hasn't come out all day. Does he know? The one who killed our child is Chao Yiran? Yes, he does. Mr. Lu has already sent someone to take her to jail. He's afraid you'll have a breakdown, so doesn't tell you. I want to see her. Miss Ye, but up to now, you haven't fully recovered yet. Take me to see her. She killed my child. She took life of my child. I'll do it. But you can't let Mr. Lu know I'm the person who brings you there. Yes, you, you bitch! It's all your fault. It's you that got me into this mess. Whatever happened to you is totally a result of your own guilt. You, a mistress, who are you to say such things? If it weren't for you, I'd be Mrs. Lu. I've never meant to take anything away from you. If it weren't for my father, 
I would never have stayed with Lu Qingxiao. You've set me up over and over again. You even killed my child. I'm going to make you pay. <laughs> you already killed us. your child. Just like your short-lived father came to death because of you. What do you mean? As to my father's death, do you know something? Magician, since you want me to die, I'll drag you down with me. You're so stupid. You don't know anything. They've got you on the run. What do you know? Tell me now, and maybe you'll have your sentence amended. Yes, I'm going to die. It doesn't matter if I tell you. It's true that I killed your child. But all of this is ordered by Lu Jixin. He wanted you dead, but unfortunately, you escaped. Lu Jixin? Why did he do that? To silence you, of course. He knows you're investigating your father's case. He doesn't want you to continue. He does have something to do with my father's case. Of course he has. He is the murderer. Your father was imprisoned by him. The Jishan didn't want you to pursue the case. That's why your father was released. But you didn't give up and led to your father's death. No. That's impossible. This is another one of your schemes, isn't I'm it? I'm going to die. What good does it do for me to lie to you? How do you know all this? Needless to say, I read it on Lu Qingxiao's computer. What's wrong? He already knew who is the murderer. Yet, hasn't he told you? He only told me. My father was framed. He didn't tell me who is the real killer. Lu Qingxiao didn't even tell you that. And you want to fight for him? You're so stupid. However, the victim is Lu Qingxiao's father. I don't believe it. Why should he hide it from me? Lu Qingxian's family name is also Lu. Even if they are not related by blood, they are still family. Do you think Lu Qingxiao would send his brother to jail for you? Yes, India. You're just their plaything. You'll never win against me. Monsieur. Go away. I want to see Lu Qingxiao. Monsieur, did Chao Yeran say something improper to you? You must have misunderstood Mr. Lu. Why don't you wait for a while until Mr. Lu comes back from his meeting? Lu Qingxiao, so you've been hiding the truth from me all the time. Mr. Lu? What's the matter? After meeting with Chao Yiran, Miss Ye has been saying that she must see you. I couldn't stop her. Did Chao Yiran say something improper to you? Have you already known? Lu Qixian is the murderer. And it is also that he killed my father. What are you still unknown that about? That is true, that you held out on me. Why did you hide it from me? At that time, when I begged you to save my father. Did you already know where he was? Why didn't you save him? I couldn't. Lu Jishen wanted to keep his secrets. One of you and your father must die. At that time, I still need your blood. That's That's why, in order to cover up for Lu Jishen, you witnessed my father lost his life for nothing. As long as your father is still alive, he will be a danger to Lu Jishen. By all manner of means, so Lu Jixian will try to kill him. Lu Jingxiao, are you still a tidy person? What about us? Will we still get our marriage license? Yes. Why not? Of course I'll marry you. I want to make all of the Lu suffer so that I can avenge to my father and my unborn child. Mr. Lu, why don't you explain to Miss Ye? Explain what? Isn't what she said all true? But you're doing this for her safety, aren't you? She won't trust me anymore. But why? You still want to marry her? As long as she's by my side, it's enough. Whether she loves me or hates me, I don't want anyone else to appear by her side. Just the thought of that day 
Mu Wen signed his name under surgery form. I wish I could chop off his hand. Mr. Lu, should I go now and bring Miss Ye back? No need. I just have someone to keep an eye on her. But make sure she will not find out. She has the evidence now. She will definitely report Lu Shen as soon as possible. It will be dangerous if Lu Shen knows the issue. Go ahead. All right. Xin Yin, what's wrong with you? Is someone bullying you? Is it Lu Jing Xiao? Brother of Mu Wen, they're all deceiving me. They're all deceiving me. Xin Yin, don't worry. As long as I'm here, I'll definitely punish those people who have ever bullied you. Are you saying that Uncle Ye was killed by the members of the Lu family? With this evidence, we can bring the real culprit to justice. No, Xin Yin. It's too dangerous. The Lu family has significant influence. They would seek revenge against you. I can't worry about that anymore. My father was a policeman his whole life. Can't let him die with the burden of being a murderer. Is there really no other way? Well, regardless of what happens, I will do it. You don't need to worry about it. I don't want to drag you into this. Xin Yin, what are you saying? I came back this time for you. My feelings for you. Don't you understand? No matter what you do, I'll stay by your side. Owen, don't say that. I just treat you as a brother. Being a brother is fine. At least, I can be by your side. Then there's still a chance. Owen, there are many people in the world who are better than me. You don't have to sacrifice yourself. Shinyan, what are you talking about? You are the only one in my eyes. I won't fall in love with anyone else but you. You don't need to feel pressured. It's my own willingness. Thank you, Luwen. Xinyin, if you want to avenge Uncle Ye, I'll help you. Okay. Xinyin, whatever method I choose, you staying by my side is the only one matters. Hello, may I ask if you are Mr. Lu Shen? Is there something I can help you with? Someone has accused you of being involved in kidnapping and murder. We need you to come with us for questioning. Sir, this is clearly someone trying to frame me. Can I have my lawyer sue them for defamation? Mr. Lu, please remain calm. We are merely following the procedure. One of the charges against you relates to a murder case of three years ago. I was not in the country three years ago. How could I have killed someone regarding that case? It occurred shortly before you left the country. The crime scene was in your backyard. And the victim was your adoptive father. Although the perpetrator for that case has already been apprehended, new evidence we have received gives the possibility of another perpetrator. Sir, does your wrong arrest have anything to do with me? If you suspect me of being the killer, do you have any evidence? Besides, why would I want to kill my adoptive father? Take a look at this. Shouldn't you have more evidence before trying to convict me? I want to see my lawyer. Mr. Lu, the issues have been resolved. Go and check. Who handed these things over to the police? It has been verified that Ye Xin Yin handed in those evidence. Ye Xin Yin? Yes. Good. I didn't find you. You came seeking trouble yourself. Don't blame me then. I'm sorry, Mr. Liu, but you can't leave yet. Someone ju has just submitted new evidence to us. What? <clears throat> Liu Xishen. How did you end up like this? Liu Xiao. I'm your elder brother. How dare you talk to me in this zone? Just a foster child adopted by my mother. What kind of elder brother are you? Lu Jingxiao, what do you want to do? The one who killed my father back then. Was it you? Yes, it was me. Back then you couldn't find me, and now you suddenly can? Do you really think that what you and Ye Xin Yin find out can make me present? This is a matter between the two of us. It has nothing to do with Ye Xin Yin. Why are you so nervous about that woman? 
If I were to do something to her, what would you do? Do you dare? Guess whether I dare or not. Anyone who stands in my way will die. Lu Zhishen, do you really think I have no way to deal with you? What can you do? The evidence of your true murders is right here. Stop bluffing. I don't believe your tricks. You've deleted all the footage from the courtyard back then. Would you like to take a look? The video was sent to the police long before I arrived. I have plenty of backups. Lu Xiao, I lost I'm not even close to being as ruthless as you. What did my father do to you that made you want to kill him? I have said it before, anyone who stands in my way will die. He used to claim it over and over again that he would treat me like his own son. And now? He wants to leave everything to you. What am I then? On what grounds? Just because I'm not his biological son? Is that it? Lu Zhishen, you are nothing but an ungrateful wolf. Say it again! Don't move! Lu Zhishen, enjoy your life in prison for the rest of your days. You cannot keep me locked up. As long as I don't admit it, then you cannot do anything to me. You cannot convict me! Is that so? Great! What's wrong, Xin Yin? Do you have good news? Brother Luan, the court said they will reopen my father's case. His innocence will finally be proven. That's wonderful, Xin Yin. The court said the trial will start soon. When that happens, Lu Qiusheng will face legal consequences. Your hard work has not been in vain. The spirit of Uncle Ye can finally find peace. Brother Luan, I've been waiting for this day for so long. Hello? We are getting married tomorrow. Do you have time? Give me the address. I will come pick you up. No need. We will meet at the Civil Affairs Bureau tomorrow. Xin Yin, now that uncle's case has been resolved, do you still want to marry him? He is also partly responsible for my father's death. I want to hold him accountable. Xin Yin, I will never let you marry him. You want to eat lunch together? No, I'll eat with Muwen. We just got out of the Bureau of Civil Affairs. You can't wait to see our little lover. Don't you forget you're my wife now. You dare to say other men in front of me? Lu Qingxiao, watch your mouth. There is nothing between us. We're not what you think. Hello? What's wrong? Maybe... I know. Where are you taking me? Let me go! Lu Jingxiao, let go of me! You stay right here. Don't go anywhere. Do you hear me? Lu Jingxiao, let go Watch of me! Watch her. She's not going anywhere before I get back. Lu Jingxiao! Get out of my way! Ma'am, I take orders from Mr. Lu. Hello? Are you okay? I've been waiting for you at the rendezvous for two hours. Is there something wrong? It's okay. Actually, there were quite a few people receiving certificates today. We waited a little longer, and I'll be right there. Be careful on your way. Okay. Hello. There's something wrong with my stomach. Could you go get me a glass of honey okay, water? Okay, just a moment. Okay. Monsieur? Monsieur? Yin, I'll see how you get away this time. Hello? Miss, you run away, Mr. Lu. What? 
You wait here and I'll find her. If you have any news about Lu Shen, please let me know as soon as possible. Okay. okay. Muen, where are you? Muen! Ye Xin Yin, go to hell! Ye Xin Yin! Xin Yin! Lu Jingxiao! Xin Yin! Lu Jingxiao! Lu Jingxiao! Xin Yin, are you okay? Xin Yin! Lu Jingxiao, wake Xin Yin. up! Are you okay? Lu Jingxiao! Xin Yin! Lu Jingxiao, wake up! Lu Jingxiao, this is your karma! Lu Jingxiao, why are you pushing me away? Xin Yin, you have been scared today. Need a good rest. Go home first. Wu Wen, to save me, he was pushed over by Lu Jingxian. I must see him. I will be at ease if he is fine. Don't worry. It's not your fault. How is he? The patient was hit on the head. The situation is urgent. Needs an immediate surgery. Please, the family sign I'm it. I'm his family. I sign it. Are you sure? We just got a marriage license today. Doctor, I beg you, please help him. We'll do our best. It's a difficult operation. We're not 100% sure. What can we do? Dr. Mu is an expert in brain surgery. If he operates the surgery, a better chance of success. Moen, I beg you. Yeah. You must save him. Please, I beg you. Xin Yin, is it really necessary to save him to that extent? I don't know. I hated him. I just wanted to get back at him. But I never wanted him to die. Mu Wen, please, you must save him. You can't rest assured. I'm a doctor. I'm not gonna let him die. I will help you get him back. However, Xin Yin, I have one condition. If I save him, you're gonna be with me. Wu Wen, I... Xin Yin, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a man, because I wasn't generous enough to save my rival in love. Fine. If you can save him, I'll do whatever you want. Lu Jingxiao, as long as you are there, her eyes will always be on you. I will make your life a living hell. Moen, how is the surgery? Please rest assured, the surgery was successful. He soon woke up. Thank you, Moen. Chin Yin, don't forget our agreement. Well, maybe you should go home and rest for a few days. But, he hurt so bad because of saving me. Now nobody is there. I just want to stay with him a little longer. Just repay him for saving my life. Is it fine? Good. As long as you can come with me. Can I go see him now? He's not out of the woods yet. To be watched for a while. You can see him when he transfers to a regular ward. Dr. Mu, that's a little high. I have prescribed it. How? If ordinary people take this drug, the brain will be stimulated, will cause irreversible effects. It's for special times. I'll drop his meds when he wakes up. Well... Lu Jingxia, what would happen if I brought you back to life? That's a lot of overdoses. You're a lunatic when you wake up. Muwen, it has been a month. How long will he stay in such a coma? Xin Yin, I don't know either. He might have no chance to wake up and come into a persistent vegetative state. How could this be? If he stays unawakened, are you still going to accompany him like this? He's still in the coma. The culprit who hurts Uncle Ye 
has also received deserved punishment. Are you still stuck in the past? I have no idea. He lied to me so many times. I thought I should hate him. I married him. Just want to get back at him. But I just want him to feel my pain at the beginning. I don't want him dead. Shinyan. I've applied to the hospital for a place to study abroad. I will leave a few days later. You don't need to wait for him to wake up. Woman, can I wait for more days? I... You can't go over him, right? Because of me. He was in such a situation. I can't just walk away. I have to make runs of other words. Shinya. You'd better think again. Lu Jingxiao, why don't you wake up? When you wake up, I'll go abroad with Lu Wen. Let's set ourselves free and move on. Monsieur, why are you still here? What's wrong? I heard that you're going abroad with Dr. Mu. Who tells you that? Dr. Mu. I originally wanted to leave after Mr. Lu woke up. Mm -hmm. However, it seems to be too late. Monsieur, Mr. Lu has done a lot for you. You're going abroad, leaving him alone. I think it's unfair to Mr. Lu. What? You blame him for not telling you the truth. In fact, Mr. Lu wanted to protect you. The less you know, the safer you will be. It's in the past. And your job? Was arranged under Mr. Lu's command. It's him. Then why would he humiliate me in front of so many people? He wanted you to hate him. Why? He said, hate lasts longer than love. But I... Monsieur, he loves you so much. The night before you were kidnapped, he had sent me to the Bureau for marriage reservation. But he didn't tell me anything. On the wedding day, Mr. Lu told you to stay at the villa. Because Lu Shen broke out of the jail, he was afraid that crazy man would hurt you. But you didn't listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all because of me. Sorry, Monsieur. I didn't mean to blame you. If you have made your mind to leave, I will take care of Mr. Lu. No. I won't leave. I will sit by him until he wakes up and explains everything from his mouth. I can't go abroad with you. Why? You promised me. I'm sorry. Is it because of Lu Jingxiao? Yes. Xinyin, in your eyes, I'm always inferior to that Lu person. No, Wuan. You are always an important family. Only family? I'm sorry, Wuan. You don't need to feel sorry for me. You know I won't reject any requests from you. But I've saved my rival, unwillingly, by myself. Moen, I will repay you. Did I do this for your repairman? Shinya, you know what I actually want. Aren't I good enough for you? Why can't you see me? I'm sorry, Moen. I'm really sorry. Go. See him. Thank you, Moa. Xinyan. I don't want to be your brother. Xinyan. I'll never give up. 
You will be mine. Even if it's not true, I won't let anyone else touch you. Lu Jingxiao, I will stay. Anyway, we got married. Wake up, please. All you have is under my control. Don't you afraid of my revenge? Afraid that I'll take them all? You wake up! Why are you here? I stay to look after you. Anything wrong? Do you feel well? I'll call the doctor. What happened to me? Don't you remember? You saved me from Lu Shen. He knocked you down by his car. You have passed out for a month. I saved you. Lu Jingxiao, what's wrong with you? What's this? Our marriage license? Isn't that the idea from you that you want to marry me? I married the daughter of my father's killer? Are you kidding me? What's this all about? Explain and don't play with words. Lu Jingxiao, let go of me! Let go! Lu Jingxiao, let go of me! Lu Jingxiao, let me go! Mr. Lu, Mr. Lu, please let Miss Ye go. What is this right now? I was only in a coma for a month, and you've already been bought off by her? Let me go! Mr. Luke, if you keep doing this, you'll kill her. Miss Ye, wait for me. I'll go ahead and help. What is the matter with me? Why am I taking pity on her? Dr. Mu, come quick and see. Mr. Lu has been acting this way since he wakes up. Shin Yin, Shin Yin, are you alright? I'm okay, Mu Wen. What's wrong with Lu Qingxiao? He doesn't remember that we were married. Good for you, Ye Shin Yin. I'm still right here, and you are flirting with the other guy. Don't forget that you are still my love. Father is in jail, waiting for you to save him. Lover? My father? What happened to you? Have you lost your memory? I saved one less. Come over here. Shin Yun, don't go there. Mo Wen, I'm just going to calm him down for a moment. How are you feeling? Get out! Get out! Mr. Lu, Mr. Lu, get out! Looks like my pills are taking effect pretty quickly. Lu Jingxiao, enjoy yourself, my big gift. If we just look at the CT scan, there's nothing wrong with it. But human brain does have the possibility of suffering memory loss after intense stimulation or heavy strike. But he doesn't seem to have a memory loss. He still remembers who I am. Only... Not who I am now. This could happen. His memories stop in the past and simply forget everything after that. Why is this happening? In that case, does he still have a chance to recover? Yes, he does. But not a hundred percent sure. All I want to know right now is where does his memory stop? Well... Probably in three years ago. At the time when my father was wrongly imprisoned, to save my father, I agreed to be Lu Qingxiao's lover. Xin Yin, why did you never mention it? It's all in the past. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm sorry, Xin Yin. Mu Wen, you are an expert in this field. Is there any way you can bring back his memories? So far, there isn't any great way. But if you can let him get some stimulation again, there might be a chance. Thank you, Muwan. Whether he gets his memory back or not, I'm going to try my best. No, Shin Yin. You can't stay with him right now. It's too dangerous. When I examined his condition, he already has a tendency towards mania. If he has a mania attack one day, he might hurt people around him. Muwan, it's been a long way for Lu Qingxiao and me to get here. I love him. I'm not going to give him up. But I'm worried about you. Moen, don't worry. I still got you. Xin Yin, why do you always think of me only when I am useful for you? Sooner or later, 
you will come to me and beg for my love. What are you guys doing here? Ting Xiao, we... Mr. Lu, we are discussing your condition with Dr. Mu. Lu Jingxiao, let go of me! Lu Jingxiao, let her go. Mu Wen. You dare to care about other men in front of me. A good lesson, and will help you identify yourself. Mr. Lu, you really misunderstand. Get out! You are fired! Lu Jingxiao, let me go! Lu Jingxiao! Lu Jingxiao, it's not the way you're thinking. You lost past three years' memories. In the past three years, a lot of things happened. Ye Xin Ye, which tricks do you want to play with me? You belong to me. You should know my rules. Lu Jingxiao, let me go! Just hear me out! You're up. Remember to take the medicine. Where are you going? Do I need to report it to you? Lu Jingxiao, I think you should go to the hospital for a complete examination now. Go to check. And let you have a chance to meet your lover secretly? Lu Jingxiao, we shouldn't be like this. I know. You hate my father killing your dad, but my dad is not the killer. It is Lu Jianshen about the killer. Didn't you find it out by yourself? It's okay if you cannot recall it right now. We can remember Shut it together. Up. Shut up! Are you alright? Go away! You are not right! I'll take you to the hospital! Don't touch me! Calm down! I won't touch you! Shall we go to the hospital? I told you to stay away from me. Get out. No. Oh, what? Why are you here? I've been calling you all night. Still unavailable. I'm worried about your safety. So, I found Lu Jingxiao's assistant and get the spare key here. Mo Wen, what happened to Lu Jingxiao? His condition is complicated right now. Let's take him to the hospital first. Don't worry too much. I prescribed him medicine. He's okay now. Mo Wen, what happened to him? His mania is getting worse. Xin Yin, for your safety, you must keep your distance from him. Mu Wen, you all remarkable medical skills. There must be some way you can cure him, right? Sorry, Xin Yin. There's no cure for his illness. So give up timely. No matter what happens to him, I'll never give up. Xin Yin. Is he that important to you? There are so many misunderstandings between he and me. Too much has been missed. It's not easy for us to determine our feeling for each other. I don't want to miss it again. I'll be with him. Wait for him remembering everything. You're awake? Why am I in the hospital? You fainted. Moen and I sent you to the hospital. Can't tell. You are quite a busybody. You almost hurt the heart, Shen Yin. I can't sit on hands. Come back with me. I won't let you hurt Shen Yin again. The thing between our couple don't need to bother you. Change your clothes to attend a dinner party with me in the evening. Lu Jingxiao, do you remember something? Didn't you say we were married? Then, do your duty as well as Mrs. Lu. I can't accept my wife to do nothing just like a face. Hello, Mr. Liu. Is this your wife? I've heard so much about you. Pleased to meet you. 
Please, go ahead. Since everyone is here, let's take a seat. All right, all right, Mr. Lou. Since it's your banquet today, let me raise a toast to you. I'm afraid I cannot drink because of my recent injury. How about my wife does it for me? You brought me here just to humiliate me. Isn't this what you wanted? Mrs. Lou, please go ahead. All right. Mr. Lou, I have brought you considerable profits. What benefits do you have for me? Tonight, why don't you stay and accompany Mr. Wang? Lu Jingxiao, you scoundrel! You care about the stuff's lips? When you have ever cared about my life? Do as you please. I'm going out for a smoke. Mrs. Lu, Mr. Lu has spoken. Don't touch me. Let go of me. Let go of me. You wretched woman, don't let me catch you. Xinyin? How are you, Xinyin? Are you okay? Did Lu Jingxiao hurt you? Why are you here, Mu Wen? Our group is having a gathering here. I ran out and saw you. Mu Wen, can you help me? Take me away from here. Okay. Did I really forget something? Didn't I ask you to stay inside with Mr. Wang? Lu Jingxiao, don't go too far. Come back with me. No one is allowed to leave. Lu Jingxiao, let go of me! Lu Jingxiao, what are you going to do to Xinyan? Lu Jingxiao, let go! Mr. Lu, what do you mean by this? I came here sincerely to do business with you. I don't care about your petty business. Get lost. Mr. Lu, if you push me too far, I won't go back either. Who do you think you are? Get lost. Hey! I have a question for you. Do I lose some memory? Yes. Doctor said your memory is tough to go three years ago. Things happened during these days. You cannot remember anything about them. Do you know who I am? Ye Xinyin, my nurturing lover. Lu Jingxiao, it was you who proposed to me. You asked me to marry you. How could you forget everything? You've done so many for me. You still love me. Take a rest. When you're good, I'll get a marriage license with you. I love you. Lu Jingxiao! Lu Jingxiao! Stop! Don't touch me. Stay away from me. Lu Jingxiao! Don't force yourself. Let it go if you cannot remember it. You'd be unwell if you continue to try. Get away! Lu Jingxiao! Lu Jingxiao! Open the door! I'll take you to the hospital! Lu Jingxiao! Hello, Mu Wen. Lu Jingxiao. He seems to remember something. His condition is not so good. He locked himself up in the room and don't want to get out. Xinyin, don't worry. If I go there, I could only provoke him. I'll prescribe some sedative drug and send it to you. When he calms down, help him take the medicine on time. Thank you, Mu Wen. Lu Jingxiao! Here's the medicine. 
What is it? It's the medicine doctor prescribed for you. Dr. Mu prescribed it. You take the medicine first, you can collect something happened before. You will remember everything gradually. Take it away. I won't take it. Mu Wen is the top brain doctor in our country. He will help you to remember everything. You trust him completely. But your disease, if you don't take medicine, you won't be good. I've said I'm not sick. I don't need the medicine. Are you okay? All right. Why was I so nervous when I saw her get hurt? Could I really forget some real important things between us? Yishinia said I loved her. What on earth happened between us? I'm sorry. I'll take the medicine. Okay. Mu Wen, thank you for the medicine. Ching Xiao becomes better now after taking it. My pleasure, Xin Yin. That's what I should do. Mu Wen, I really don't know how to thank you. Xin Yin, as long as you can trust me, that's enough for me. Lu Jing Xiao. You've taken so much toxic medicine I've made for you. You will become a madman soon. At that time, I'll be the only one Xin Yin can rely on. Nobody can take Xin Yin away from me. How are you? Do you want to write something new? No. It's okay. You've remembered many things recently. Take your time. Thank you. I've done so many bad things to you, but you are still willing to be with me. I'll be with you, until you remember all things. What's wrong? Don't touch me. Stay away from me. Take the medicine. Take it, and you'll be okay. Get away. Shinian. Shinian. Are you alright? Xinyin, Xinyin, I'll take you to the hospital. Lu Jingxiao, what did you do to Xinyin? You nearly made her lose the baby, do you know? What did she say? She's pregnant? You go. How could you have the face to be here? You don't think you hurt her so much? Go away. I'm her husband. I'll be with her here. Husband, I think you are the killer. Mo Wen, what happened? Why am I in the hospital? Xin Yin, you still love him? Is it not enough that Lu Jing shall hurt you so much? How could it be? He'll be okay soon. Get real. He can't be okay. He cannot control himself, even with the medicine. He will hurt you someday. Mu Wen, I'm not afraid. He will remember everything soon. Not afraid? What about the baby in your belly? You want the baby to go again? Mu Wen, is it real? I... I am pregnant again. That's so good. I have a baby again. Xinyin, do you know you almost lose the baby again because of him? No. It's our baby. We've lost the baby. Wake up, Xinyin. When he is on set, he can't control himself. Based on your condition, if you lose the baby again, you will be difficult to have another one. But he was well this morning. You are not in Lu Jingxiao's mind at all. You lost your baby, but he didn't show up. Forget him, Xin Yin. Mu Wen, what can I do? Xin Yin, could you give me a chance? I'll protect you.
Why are you still here? Let me in. I got something to ask her. You almost made her lose the baby. She's really disappointed in you now. She doesn't want to see you. Okay. Well, you tell me. Did we lose baby before? Yes, so what? You killed it yourself. That's impossible. You think I believe you? Lu Jingxiao, you're so cruel and evil. You even let your wife to be a barmaid. Is there anything you can't do? How do I on earth lose it? You wanna know? At 8 o'clock tonight, go to this place to see me. I'll tell you. Damn it. I was fooled by Mr. Lu. Mr. Mu is busy now, so you need to wait for a minute. Mr. Mu, did you do what I asked you to do? Yes. I have lighted the sending object. Great. Oh. Lu Jingxiao, you will soon lose your consciousness due to the smell. I will take your unflattering photos and then Lu Qingyin will completely give up on you. Mr. Lu, what brings you here? You are so busy. Why do you come here today? Let's have a drink, Mr. Lu. Who let you in? Get out. Mr. Lu, just have a drink. Yes, just have a drink. You are busy and tired, so let me give you yeah. a massage. Just have a taste. Xinyin, why are you here? Mr. Lu, I'm not Xinyin. Who asked you to come? You asked us to come. Yes, it's you who asked us to come. Mr. Lu. Don't go, Mr. Lu. Mr. Lu, come to take a drink. Yes, let's take a drink. Get out of here. Xin Yin. Ye Xin Yin. Wait for me. You're not well yet. Better not to get up yet. Wu Wen. I still want to meet Lu Qingxiao. What's the matter, Wu Wen? I didn't want to tell you this. But I'm afraid that it will affect your mood. But now, I just can't watch you jump to the fire. See for yourself. That's not true. Wu Wen, these photos are fake, right? I also hope they're fake. My friend is the Mars owner. He sent these photos to me last night. Lu Jingxiao almost caused you to miscarry yet. Then he slept with another woman. How could he treat me like this? He has already remembered a lot of things. He's been lying to me. Xinyin, you're going to stay at my place. I will take good care of you. People such as Lu Jingxiao, he's not worth your tears. Thank you, Mu Wen. After I give birth to the baby, I'll find a new job. It won't take too long. How can it be trouble? Even if I take care of you for a lifetime, I'm also willing to do. Mu Wen, I'm only gratitude to you. I don't want to detain you any longer. I don't care about that, Xin Yin. Have a good rest. Take good care of the fetus. Okay. Xin Yin, I won't let you give birth to Lu Jin Xiao's child. Everything about you belongs to me. Xin Yin, I've completed your discharge procedure. Let's go. What are you doing? Xin Yin, I need to talk to you. 
We have nothing to talk. Who and let's go. Okay, Shinyan. I have hired the best need to take care of you. We'll go with him. If I don't go with him, would I stay and let you hurt our baby? I'm sorry. Have we lost the baby? So I will give birth to a healthy baby. I won't let anyone hurt him. I'm also the father of the baby. Le Jingxiao, you don't deserve it. I'm sorry. I should forget these things. We were in love before. Is it right? Just give me one more chance, okay? Mr. Lu, you are too deeply involved in the play. You must have fooled yourself. I'll write the divorce agreement and ask Mu Wen to give it to you. Don't worry. I just want this baby. The property of your loose, I don't want a cent. That's not true. Will you just let me explain? That's enough. I don't want to hear it. Just hope. Just... You will never appear in front of me and my child. Chinyin, I'm sorry. We'll have a baby of our own. Chinyin, have some porridge. Aunt Wang said you haven't eaten for days. Thank you, Wuen. I have no appetite. Chinyin, how can you stand it if you don't eat? Don't be sad for someone who doesn't deserve it. We all care about you. Wuen. I may need a little more time. You're pregnant now, and you lack emotional stability. But you have to think about the baby in your belly. If you don't eat, the baby will be hungry with you. You're right. I want to protect this baby. I can't afford to lose a baby again. That's right. Come and drink. <coughs> I'm sorry, Muen. I don't mean it. Don't worry. It's a normal reaction during pregnancy. I'll get another bowl of porridge. Abortion pills? Why does no one have abortion pills on him? Moen, you've been taking care of me so well. I'm really embarrassed. You're pregnant now. We should take care of you. Come and drink the porridge. It will be cold later. Hmm. Yeah, Shinyan. Drink it. Why don't you eat? Moen, I still feel a little nauseous. I really can't eat it. I want something sour. Do you have any sour at home? Yes, I'll get some for you. But you have to finish the porridge. Okay. Why would Muen want to kill my baby? Muen, what exactly do you want to do? The horse is all gone so fast. Ah, he just went out. I suddenly feel a little hungry. I feel very full now. 
That's all right. Just finish the porridge. Remember to drink slower next time. Have a good rest. Plums. I put them here for you. If you want, they won't bother you. Who locked me in this room? And put the abortion pills in the porridge. If I did need the porridge, I can't get out now even when I ask for help. Who will? Why do you hurt my baby? Mr. Lu, the test result has come out. The scented candle in the room the other day indeed was hallucinogenic. Say it. Who sent you the other day? We don't know. It's... it's... Someone called us and said you asked us to come and accompany you. And who called you? We really don't know, Mr. Liu. It's an unfamiliar number. We got an address and a deposit. Go and check it. Yes. I asked your boss. He said there isn't this kind of scented candle in the bar. Who gave you the scented candle? Mr. Lu, I really don't know. Some customers do like to use scented candles in the box, but I sent it to the wrong room that day. You sent it wrong. Still lying, right? Brother, Mr. Lu, Mr. Lu, don't, don't, Mr. Lu. I'll tell, I'll tell. Don't, Mr. Lu. It's some Mr. Mu ordered this room. He gave me these things. He asked me to take these things in and light the scented candles after you going into the room. That's all I know, Mr. Mu. I have nothing to do with it. Mu Wen, you tried so hard to take away Xin Yin. I'll make you pay for it. Mr. Mu, welcome back. Miss Wang, is everything okay with Xin Yin today? She hasn't come out of the room since you left. She didn't knock on the door or call you? No, she is quiet today. Me, she is sleeping. That's strange. The aborticide should work by now. Or she fainted from the pain? Mu Wen? What time is it? I seem to sleep for a whole day. Xin Yin, don't you feel any discomfort? No, maybe I feel sleepy easily because of the pregnancy. I didn't expect to sleep for so long. Good. Are you hungry? I will ask Miss Wang to make some food for you. I'm not hungry yet. You need to eat even if you are not hungry. The baby inside you needs nutrition. But now, once I think of food, I want to throw up. I know it's not easy for you, but for the baby, Please hang in there. I will ask Miss Wang to make some light food for you. Mu Wen, why are you lying to me? I won't let you hurt my baby. Xin Yin, I asked Miss Wang to make a bowl of noodles. Take it away. I want to throw up. Xin Yin. You didn't eat the porridge this morning. Huan, I am sorry. I just couldn't eat anymore. I'm afraid that you will be worried, so I threw it away secretly. Then you need to eat the noodles. Come, I'll watch you finish it. Come, be a good girl. Eat it. Eat it. You put a border side in it. I won't eat it. Since you already knew, I'll come clean. What? What do you really want? I want you to abort the baby. We will have our own baby. We. Yes. We. You and I. We? Moen, I only see you as my brother. Brother. Brother again. I hate it when you call me a brother. I can provide what Lu Xiao can provide to you. Yeah. Why? Why? Moen, let go of me. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I can't. I like you for a long time. Every time I think of you carrying Lu Xiao's baby, I really want to open your belly. Wu Wen, let go of me! Let go of me! Tell me, 
You are still thinking of him? You want to leave with him when he recovers? Ah, you don't. I'm telling you, he won't recover. I did something to his surgery and his medicine. He has been taking the medicine for so long, he will be a madman soon. Now, you will only be happy with what me. What did you say? Why did you do that? Xinyin, I need to thank you. Thanks for giving me a chance to get rid of my rival. You became like this because of me. Xinyin, I am the one who loves you the most. Xinyin, what are you doing? Put it down. Get out. If you come near, I'll die in front of you immediately. Okay, okay. Lu Jingxiao, I'm sorry. What brought you here, Mr. Lu? A follow-up check? If so, you need to register first. Where did you take Xin Yin? Surely some place you can find her? I told you, I won't let you hurt her again. It was you at the bar that day, right? You also sent her the photo. What if it's me? Haven't you hurt her enough? Where is she now? What can you do even if you know where she is? She's completely disappointed in you. She doesn't want to see you again. Do you think you can damage our relationship through some naive tricks and she will fall in love with you? Until now, she still sees you as a brother. Don't worry about that, Mr. Lu. After all, I am the one who is going to spend the rest of my life with her. She can accept me gradually. You are the one needed to be worried about. Is the medicine I prescribed for you still working? Are you feeling harder and harder to control yourself? What did you do? Mr. Lu, make a will when your mind is still clear. Otherwise, there will be no chance. If anything bad happens to Xin Yin, I will make you pay. Don't worry, I will let her abort your baby first. And we will have our own baby. How dare you! I will fucking kill you! <laughs> you already lose control of yourself now? Security? Someone is causing trouble here. Please handle it. Miss Wang, can you open the door for me, please? Miss Wang! Miss Ye. Mr. Wen asked me when he left not to open the door for you. Miss Wang, please open the door for me. I want to breathe some fresh air. Miss Wang, help me. It seems that it seems that I'm having a miscarriage. Mr. Lu, did you find her? Not yet. We have sent people to check what happened during the last month. Mo Wen, I don't believe that as a doctor. You have so much power. There's no one that I can't find out in Ai Cheng. Mr. Lu, is your head hurting again? Do you need the medicine? Is the medicine that's prescribed for you still working? Are you feeling harder and harder to control yourself? No need. Stop giving me this medicine from now on. But. There's no but. I will go out later. Inform me if you discover anything. Where exactly are you, Ye Xin Yin? I will definitely find you. Sir, I'm sorry. You failed to keep an eye on Miss Ye. I let her run What did you say? You can't even watch over a pregnant woman. So useless. Xin Yin, why don't you listen to me? Why don't you accept me? Ye Xin Yin. I'm sorry. I'm late. Are you okay? I'm fine. Lu Jingxiao, there is an issue with the medication you're taking. You cannot continue taking it. I know. I know everything. I have remembered it all. Do you remember who I am? You are Ye Xin Yin. You are my beloved. The person I would risk my life to protect.
Doctor, is she okay? She is fine. Just malnutrition and experienced mood swings recently. That's why she fainted. Then, what about the baby? The baby is fine too. But she is still not out of danger. You need to pay more attention. Good. I will pay more attention. Mr. Lu, your wife is fine. But... What's wrong? The medicine you asked us to test. We found a lot of illicit ingredients. They will cause damage to the brain after a long time use. In your blood sample, we detected same ingredients. Your recent headache and emotional instability are caused by these ingredients. But it is okay, since you didn't take the medicine for too long. However, you have developed dependence on the medicine. If you want to stop using it, it will be painful. We don't have a better solution for now. You can only rely on your will. I got it. Shinyan, I am sorry. You went through lots of pain because of me. I swear, for the rest of my life, I will take care of you and the baby. Is the medicine is prescribed for you still working? Are you feeling harder and harder to control yourself? Muen, I will make you pay. Shinyan, don't be afraid, it's me. I remembered everything. Really? You really remembered everything? Am I dreaming? I was a jerk. I did a lot of things that hurt you. I know it's too late now, no matter how much I make up for you, but would you give me a chance? Would you give me a chance to take care of you until the baby is born? I will leave at that time if you want me to. Or I will do anything you want. No. I'm sorry. I won't leave you. If I leave you, the baby will have no father. Shinyan, thank you. You know, my heart broke that day after you left with Muen. I'm sorry. I trusted the wrong people. I swear, you are the only one I love in this life. The photo that day, it was Muen set me up. I know. Oh. The medicine. You need to stop taking the medicine. Muwan did something to the medicine. The doctor told me about it. Don't worry. I didn't take it for a long time. I will be fine. You already knew. Are you going to make a move on Muwan? You still don't want me to do that? No. He is a doctor. What he did? against the professional athletes. If he is not punished for this time, he will do the same things to others. You really think that? What? What I said surprised you? I saw you two were close before, so I think you might ask me to let him off. I only see him as a brother. I didn't expect that he, that he would do such crazy things. He almost killed my baby and me. I won't forgive him. I will protect you and the baby. If I asked you to let him off just now, what would you do? I wouldn't want to kill him out of jealousy and then let him go. Thank you, Jing Xiao. Why are you here? What? I'm not welcome? You almost killed my child. I won't forgive you. And Lu Qingxiao already knew what you did to him. You still have time to turn yourself in now. Xinyin, is this child that important to you? I have lost a child. I know how miserable that can be. Now this child is more important than my life. What if compared to Lu Jingxiao's life? What do you mean? Lu Jingxiao already knew I had tampered with its medication. Doesn't he know how dangerous his situation is? Leaving my medication soon, he couldn't control himself anymore. But he clearly said he was already well. I guess he lied to you. He didn't want you to worry. You come here just to say these things to me. No, 
I just want to tell you, only I can save them. You will have such kindness. Of course not. As long as you have a miscarriage and follow me, I will save him. You're despicable. If I'm not despicable, how can I snatch you from his hands? You underestimate the loose too much. As long as the loose uses their power, they will find you. Lu Jingxiao can't live for a few days anymore. I'm the doctor who knows his condition the most. <laughs> Honey, if you have considered it well, come to my office and find me. Hello? Missy, it's not okay. Your husband has an accident. What? Doctor, I'm a family member of the patient. How is he doing now? Mr. Lu suddenly lost control when he returned to the hospital, almost hit by a car on the road. Fortunately, there wasn't much a big deal. He just fainted. He was sent to the hospital by someone. How could this happen? What was the reason why he suddenly fainted? So far, no major issues have been identified, so it's tricky. If the cause is not identified in a timely manner, Lu will always get worse and worse. Lu Jinxiao can live for a few days anymore. I am the doctor who knows his condition the most. Then you can go and take a look. Perhaps you will be helpful to Mr. Lu's condition. Why are you so foolish? I'm sorry, Xin Yan. Baby, I'm sorry for you. I didn't protect you. If you want to blame someone, just blame me. Fu Jingxiao. If you don't remember those things, how good should it be? So fast, I thought you were going to be struggling. I have considered it, I promise you. But you have to promise me you will cure him. Of course, as long as you don't love him anymore, I will let him go. The faster the time, the better. Of course. Once you finish the abortion surgery, I will arrange for his treatment. Finally found you. Mr. Lu is awake. Go see him. Xin Yan, where did you go? Sorry that I'm late. The Porsche is still here. Are you starving? What's wrong? Is it not to your liking? Don't cry. I'll get you something else. Fu Jingxiao, why did you lie to me? What do you mean? I thought you said you were fine, but the doctor just told me that you are dying. Why did you lie to me? I didn't. The doctor said as soon as I'm off my meds, it's all controllable. Don't explain. You just lost control, didn't you? It's a good thing I saw it. Otherwise, how long are you going to keep this from me? I just don't want you to worry. You just want me to have your baby. After all, the Luz is a very rich family. How can there be no heirs? Let me give birth a baby for you. Keep me tied to you, and I'll serve you this madman for the rest of my I life. I never thought of that. I really want a child of our own. Our child, at birth, with a madman like father who couldn't control himself. Lu Jingxiao, how can you be that selfish? 
I can control it. Please trust me. Look at you. How can I trust you? But it's not too late. I can still stop the loss in time. What are you going to do? I will have an abortion and stay away from you. And you told me before that if I beg you, you will let Nguyen go. Does it still count? You're still going with him, aren't you? Yes. Xinyin, you can't do this. You can't do this to me. Xinyin! Xinyin! Le Jingxiao, I'm sorry. Hate me if you want. Don't cry. It's just a baby. You are using this to keep me with you. Are you satisfied? But I will never be in love with you. Xinyin, as long as you stay by my side, I'm satisfied. The abortion. When is it scheduled? If you want, it can be arranged for tomorrow. Tomorrow it is. And if anything happens to Lu Qingxiao, I will not hesitate to die with you. Don't worry about it. For the woman I love, I'm a man of my word. I will arrange that for you now. Lu Qingxiao, are we not meant to be together? It turns out that making someone you love hate you is such a painful thing. As long as I can save you, hate me if you want. Xinyin, you are so cruel. It was all fine before I left. Something must have happened in between. I must go find her and find out what happened. Why are you here? To get Shin Yin's abortion appointment. Sure. Today, I'm in a good mood, so I'll let you get away with it. I will never let you kill my child. The next one will be your turn. Be prepared. My baby, if there is a next life, don't choose me to be your mom. I'm so sorry. What are you doing here? Are you really going to kill our baby? Yes. If you don't want to see me, I can leave Lu's family to you and the baby. And then I just disappear. Can you keep the baby? Lu Jingxiao, I can't keep this baby. Why? You're so sad to let this baby go. There is no reason. I just don't want this baby. You and this baby make me sick. What if I beg you? Lu Jingxiao, you don't have to do this. There are plenty of women who want to have your children. Does it have to be this one? I only want you. Get up, Lu Jingxiao. Xinyin, I know it's mean to push you like this, but I can't live without you. Every time when my disease becomes uncontrollable, it's because of you that I've been able to survive. If you are not here anymore, I don't know if I can get through this or not. Lu Jingxiao. I don't want to. If I don't do this, you will die. What? Only Muwen can cure you now. If I don't do this and go away with him, you will die. I don't have a choice. This is my baby too. Why are you being so silly? I can't watch you die. I'm sorry. I really don't know what to do. I'm the one who should be sorry. I shouldn't have put you through all this. Lu Jingxiao, please, let me save you. 
but you're not staying by my side. That's the point of being alive. And I won't watch you jump to the fire pit for me. I've been collecting Mu Wen's crime. I won't let him off the hook this time. What about your illness? He's the only one who knows your situation now. Can you make it till then? I don't know. But for you and our baby, I'll make it to that day. Don't ever do anything silly like that again. Sorry. I've got you worried. No matter what happens, I'll never leave you. What? You said she didn't have the abortion? She ran away? I'm so pissed. Dr. Moon, right? There's a report here that you've been giving illegal drugs to your patient. Please come with us for an investigation. What? Have you made a mistake? When did I use illegal drugs? Shenyan, you... Dr. Moon, the evidence is all there. Turn yourself in. You... You lied to me. Lu Jingxiao, you're going to die. Don't worry. For the sake of Shenyan, I'll live well. <laughs>